Hello, welcome to this week's Hounds the Market, Pensacola. Well, we're getting into festival season around our area. There are a lot of festivals that have been pent up that we're now bringing back. This upcoming weekend, we got uh, Pensacon for all you Comic Con dorks like me. Uh, next weekend, we're going to roll into Memorial Day weekend. And Memorial Day weekend is when we've got our pent up Mardi Gras. We're going to have a downtown Mardi Gras parade on Saturday and Memorial Day weekend. And just if that's not enough, the following weekend, we got Fiesta Parade. And that's going to be another big parade. I know that my, my Mardi Gras crew is actually rolling all 13 of our floats in Fiesta. We're only going to roll a couple of Mardi Gras uh, just because there was a time lapse to where we could get stuff in. Uh, but we are rolling all 13 during Fiesta. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a little crazy downtown. Um, almost as crazy as this market. But right after the bumper here, I actually seen something this week I hadn't seen in a year and a half. Stay tuned. Let's talk about our two counties. Let's go. If you don't know the show, you don't know, I always start off with this slide right here. It says if we have between six and seven months worth of inventory, we have what's called a neutral market. Anything greater than seven months is considered a buyer's market. Anything less than six months is considered a seller's market. What the slide doesn't say. Anything greater than nine months is considered a hyper buyer's market. Anything less than three considered a hyper seller's. Before I get into our two counties, I wanted to let you know, some sellers right now are pushing. And they're pushing a little hard. I've seen appraisal waivers come out to where people are willing to pay over whatever it appraises at, just in case it appraises low. But I'm starting to see that slow, where people are not willing to pay. And if they are, it's not very much over. I had an appraisal come in on one of my contracts uh, last week, and it came in pretty low. I can't divulge the details because we're still under contract and we haven't closed yet. I will once we get done. But it came in a lot lower than I thought. There were some issues, there were some mitigating issues of why it came in lower, but it took me a minute to get all sides to understand what happened, especially in this seller's market. So watch pushing too high. Uh, and I know that some people talked to my seller on that particular deal saying that uh, we didn't list high enough. And sure enough, the appraisal came in only $2,000, $3,000 more than what I listed it at. Like maybe I know what I'm doing, just maybe. But anyways, uh, let's get over to our two counties here. Start off in Escambia County again. Escambia County, we actually have six properties in the zero to 50,000 mark. They are all lots. All of those are land. The 550 to 600,000, that is out of a hyper sellers and just a seller's market. And the 700,000 plus is a seller's market, not a hyper sellers. If you remember last week, the 500 to 550 was also out of that mark, but it's back down now. 378 properties, active listing, and stuff is selling for 100% of list, 99 to 100% of list. You are seeing some of these down here that are under the 100%, but a lot of that has to do with uh, damaged properties. I have a couple of those on our instant, uh, our instant offer program. I have a couple of those that are under that, what would be listed because, well, they need some drastic improvements. We'll talk about instant offers here in a minute and how you could get involved in that if you're interested. Santa Rosa County. Look, this is the first time we've seen something active in Santa Rosa County under $50,000 in months. It's a lot. But hey, there's something, there's dirt over there under $50,000 available. Four properties between $50,000 and $100,000 available. Five properties between 100,000 and 150,000 available. 10, well, we're doubling now. 10 properties between 150,000 and 200,000 available. 15, this is funny, 15 properties between 200,000 and 250,000 available. And we keep moving up and then moving back down. Looks like the 350 to 400,000, we've got 30 properties, but that's still only one month's inventory. If you look at these inventory levels over here, 0.5. 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. We don't have anything in Santa Rosa County. There's just nothing available. 
There really is nothing available, and that's why prices are continuing to rise. Okay. Uh, we did get 650 to 700,000 did bump out of the hyper sellers market in Santa Rosa County, and it is at 3.2 months. And the 700,000 plus again is out of the hyper sellers market. So we're seeing a little bit of inventory there. But with this being May already, this is supposed to be the height of the spring buying season. Normally, everybody's graduating school. You've seen all the graduation pictures. This is when people want to move. And the normal cycle, of course, our normal cycle is what's normal since 2019. But yeah, that's our normal cycle. So not seeing as much inventory here when it's supposed to be the peak concerns me. It really does. And I think that we're not going to see that. I know a lot of these modifications are coming to a close, but we're not going to see much change there. So inventory is still going to be a problem as a buyer. Conversations I'm having right now with buyers, because I'm honest, I'm honest with my buyers. I say, listen, you need to be prepared to lose six, seven, eight, nine deals. We're going to offer our best. We're going to give it the best, but we need to look at this price point, be prepared to go over to here and be prepared that we're going to lose. I actually started looking at, on my team, some of my office, how many offers we were having to go through to get to a win. And it's multiple. It's multiple offers to get to a win. Now I know there's some agents out there that say, nope, I get mine win full time, all the time. Well, I'm also the agent that told three buyers, no, you cannot pay what they're asking for for that. Even though they had cash. These are tough conversations, all right? There's not many transactions happening, but when someone's asking way too much, and I know it's too much, and it's gonna take too long to get there, but because you have cash, you get to waive that appraisal? Hey, I've told, and all of my buyers were like, fine, you're the expert, let's go find something else. All right, let's go find something else because they trust me. And I'm not in it for the, that, hopefully that shows you, I'm not in it for the commission. Yes, I will get paid on these transactions, sure. I do this for a living, but I also am more, more concerned about our relationship because I know as long as I put that first, the, the commissions will come. I'm not worried about that. I've been doing this too long. I have been doing this since 93. So I know I don't look that old. Yes, I do. Yeah, I look older. <laughs> Anyways, all right. The two things that I wanted to talk about right here towards the end was our certified pre-owned program. I just wanted to mention that again. Uh, there'd be a link below to actually take a look at that. If you're looking at listing something, getting under that certified pre-owned sets you apart even more with this very limited inventory. So I've seen a lot of success with that. The other is the instant offer program. And as people are getting instant offers, I've had some interesting phone calls over the weekend saying, Shane, you know, if you get some of those instant offers and you need a cash buyer, these are investors. So right at this point, I'm talking to investors. Okay. You need a cash buyer, put me on the list. So I actually have created a list of potential buyers besides the ones that I know are looking for instant offers and saying, Hey, you know, if you want to be notified when someone says, Hey, give me an instant offer, you basically have 24 hours. You can do the research on the computer. I can tell you kind of what it looks like. And that's it. You got 24 hours to give an offer and it's going to usually be cash. It's usually going to be as is and the buyer is going to pay for everything. So, there is an instant offer program and I will put the link below if you want to be involved in that program to where when I come across one of these or, you know, some of my buyers will put something in their contract and then want to just turn around and, and, and hold what they call wholesale it out to somebody else. Okay, I've got that same buyer list. So if you want to be part of that buyer list, there is going to be a link below. Put your email in there. And I'll put you on that buyer list. That way you can be notified when some of these instant offers come across the table. If not, here are our numbers. It's 211 active properties in Santa Rosa County. We are moving in the right direction. But boy, is it ever so slow. Enjoy Pensacon this week. If you see me out, say hey. All right, I may or may not um, look a little dorkish, like more dorkish than I normally do. Um, I don't have to put on anything to go with Shrek, but yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know if we're going to be going this year or not, but I know we'll be downtown out and about. So if you see me out here, say hey. Let me know that you watch the show. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. I'm a man on a mission. My mission is to help people break through all the noise out there. And Don't need no permission. I want to help you get to actual truth. Don't you just want the truth?